addressing the developing crisis with Iran. I think our system is strong enough that we can do both. As for Senator Graham's proposal, a senior Democratic aide tells CBS News it would be unfair and undemocratic. Keep in mind, any change to the impeachment rules requires 67 votes in the Senate or a two-thirds majority. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Washington. A hero's welcome for the body of Qasem Soleimani. Tens of thousands packed Iran's largest mosque as part of a grand funeral procession. While in parliament, members chanted death to America. In neighboring Iraq, lawmakers in parliament voted to kick out all foreign troops, a move that could spell the end of America's military presence in Iraq. Today's decision was rushed through after the U.S. airstrike outside Baghdad's airport. But for Iraqis, the source of anger isn't the killing of Soleimani, but rather Shiite militia commander Abu Mahdi al-Mohandis, says Iraqi politician Saad al-Mutalabi. Do you think if uh, Qasem Soleimani was the only person killed that Iraq wouldn't have been as angry? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Qasem Soleimani... Uh, there are mixed feelings here in Iraq on Qasem Soleimani. Some believe he's a hero, some believe he's a thug. The United States blames El Mohandes's militias for killing an American contractor that sparked off a series of retaliatory attacks. And why isn't there outrage when the Americans are being attacked? Yes, there was, there was anger. There was, uh, uh, but the, the reply was in the proportion to the attack. Uh, to be honest, I mean, we're, we're, many people were very embarrassed by the attack on the American bases. In Lebanon, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah promised supporters American soldiers will pay the price for killing him. This comes as additional U.S. troops leave for the region. Many fear a war is coming. Are you afraid that Iraq will become the battleground between the United States and Iran? The major threat that we all feel here in Iraq as uh, politicians, as officials, and as a population of Iraq, that the Americans are using Iraq to turn it into a battlefield. Both the U.S. and Iran say they don't want a war, but a war is what they may get. Tonight, we just heard multiple explosions. We understand five to six rockets landed around the green zone, one injuring an Iraqi family, while two fell near the U.S. Embassy. Ian Lee, CBS News, Baghdad. Well, in other news affecting our community here in Billings, now in day five of a search for a missing hardened girl, the family asking for anyone with information to bring it forward to law enforcement. Selena Not Afraid reportedly wandered off from a broken down vehicle between Billings and Hardin on New Year's Eve after being at a party on Miles Avenue here in Billings. The family believes that Selena Not Afraid has been moved from the area and says the search also includes South Dakota and Wyoming. Bighorn County Sheriff Pete Big Hair says detectives are looking into leads after re-interviewing witnesses. Family and friends have set up a command center once again at the rest area where Selena was last seen. The family is hoping someone saw something and has ideas of what may have happened. How do you piece together a stories from six, seven, eight people that have changed two, three times? Just keeping Selena's name, picture, poster, this picture of this rest area in case somebody did drive by and remember seeing things. We're still searching. We're still actively positive she's alive. And we still believe she was removed from here. Somehow she did leave the rest area. And at some point she was picked up again. That's what we believe. And Sheriff Big Hair says when the family first arrived at the rest area on Wednesday, it saw an old green station wagon which drove away with Wyoming license plates. Bighorn County Sheriff's investigators have contacted authorities in Sheridan to check on the car. Around 4 p.m. yesterday, fire consumed a Billings West End home near the Ironwood subdivision. Thankfully, no one was injured in the blaze and new information has been released after the Billings Fire Department investigated. Acute 2's Mitch Laggy was on scene of the fire last night and has been following the story. Mitch? Well, Zoe, after the Billings Fire Marshal's investigation, the cause of that house fire remains undetermined. In an email today, Fire Marshal Bill Tatum said the fire appears to have started near the back of the home's garage. 
Tatum said the investigation will continue as the fire department processes information it has received from helpful citizens. The homeowner told the fire department that a dog was inside the home at the time of the blaze. Tatum confirmed today that firefighters were unable to locate that dog. The property and its contents were insured. An estimated $750,000 worth of damage was done to the home. Zoe? Thank you, Mitch. And turning now to weather with Rob Griggs. We thought we were in the clear after nearly blowing <laughs> over yesterday. Yeah. Today, things were a little calmer. But yeah, they were. But what happens next? But what happens next is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow is going to be a different deal than it was today. So Monday is going to feel like a Monday. It's uh, the first full work week of the new year, and so why not make it a windy one? At the moment, we have some showers across portions of the Pacific Northwest and uh, northwestern Montana at the moment getting some of those showers. Winds still blowing pretty steadily from the high line down toward Great Falls over toward Lewistown, even Livingston with a 35 mile an hour wind gust in the last couple of hours. Let me give you a quick look at the forecast for the winds by about